Hey guys, this is SSSuske125 here, and good afternoon, or morning, or night, or whatever you're watching this video at what time, or what location, yada yada yada. Welcome back to another Let's Play, or another video of Naruto Ninja Council 2 for the GBA Game Boy Advance. And where we last left off, apparently, Orochimaru has this, like, blueprints for destroying the Hidden Leaf Village. Because, let's face it, Orochimaru's a dick and a pedophile. Also, he hates the Fert Hokage for God knows why, and I don't know why is it ever explained, but maybe it's... Maybe soon in the anime or manga they will explain it. I don't know. Maybe, maybe Orochimaru wanted to do these experiments. And okay, enough with the spoilers and the other stuff in the anime. Anyway, let's get started. So apparently, your Naruto and team or Team Seven trying to to defeat you know Orochimaru and retrieve that file document or. And you have to go through, once again, Orochimaru's base, and this time, this is one of the most longest levels of the entire game. But don't worry, it's not the most difficult this. True, it can be challenging sometimes to get, especially at getting an A rank at this level. Jeez. But Orochimaru actually puts up more of a fight later on in, in the challenge. No matter. For what I've been doing these past few days, well, I've been, you know, doing school and crap like that, and life thingies. And also I got a new USB controller, so that's pretty cool. You know, at garage sales you can actually get items for very, very cheap. Jeez. I know, I know, I'm kinda tough. But anyway. Another thing I would like to talk about is the new Naruto game for the PlayStation 3, the, Na the Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 3. I've played Ultimate Ninja Storm 2 and Generations, and overall, I think I'm excited about getting this game. It looks pr pretty cool by the gameplay and the videos I've seen on YouTube. My thoughts on the this game? It's pretty good. So far. It looks like you can now go in a waking mode whenever you want without taking that much damage or being near critical state. Which is kind of cool in my opinion. And also some of the support characters from, that, from the last game generations are now playable. Just hope that Anko is now finally playable. Anko is cool, and some other characters. You know, one thing I really don't like about the Storm series is that they have Kimimaru in it. Yeah, that's true, but but why don't they have the Sound 4? I mean, they had the Sound 4 as assist characters in the Generations game, or if you count it as Naruto Ninja Storm's free tech. Chronologically, yes, it would technically be count, but however, since it's not officially Ultimate Ninja Storm 3, and mind you, I did not say Shippuden, and I just like to shorten the words, and here we are with a new- anyway, here's a new f boss fight. Once again, you're facing Zaku and Dozu again. Man, these guys are easy. I mean, they got, this is like the third time you're fighting them. I mean, one problem I have with this Naruto game for the Ninja Council 2 is that while it's a good game for a Game Boy game, but or a handheld as its own, it's still a pretty good game. But like for the Zaku battles, come on. I mean, I get it, they're supposed to be easy. Yeah, minor characters, yeah, but come on, look at how I'm wasting these guys. And true, the first battle was supposedly like that, but 
for the second battle. Come on, I was expecting like I don't know, being making them a lot difficult. I mean, not brutally difficult, but but you know, just enough so they can change their gameplay or change the strategy. I mean, I like how in some games you fight the same boss multiple times, but not multiple times, but. Sometimes I like it, if you're going to fight the same character or boss again, at least give him a different strategy or for a second time he faces you. I mean, granted, in Banjo Tui, what? Clunko? Yeah, that's the same Clunko that the one that works with Grunty. Here's the thing. He you have to fight him like three times and yet he was easy to defeat. Still, I haven't beaten the third and final one, but it's like his pattern is really easy. I mean, true, he uses different formulas, but my point is if you're going to have Molt him fight, if you're going to have Naruto fight like the same boss in a different stage, at least give the boss a different move or at least a new special. I mean, another good example would be the Mega Man Zero series with Harpuya in the four stages, or the three stages technically, like Leviathan and Fer Fefnia, Fefnia. I mean, true, their attacks are similar, and granted, yeah, they're easy to beat if you know their element. But however, in the second game, they put up more of a fight. In which kind of surprised me. If they're going to remake this Naruto game, or in fact, remake the Naruto games for GBA, or at least remake it for the 3DS, why not give like bonus features or like make the bosses a bit more difficult? I mean, not, again, not like, SNK boss syndrome, maybe for like the final boss like Gara or stuff, which is totally understandable. Gara is like overpowered in this in any Naruto game. Or in fact Gara's just overpowered in general. I mean granted he got beat up by Deidara, but Gara could have beaten Deidara. I mean if Gara didn't defend his village or Defended it from that bomb that was about to fall into that village. He could have beat a Daedara if he did not hold back. I personally think so. And anyway, here's coming up is the next boss fight, and look, it's Kabuto. And so far, yeah, I'm just beating Kabuto up, and oh look, he managed to hit me. Congratulations. But still, you're being defeated. Haha, -ha, you're... And... You just got owned. Well, at least Kabuto put up more of a fight. But, yeah. Anyway. It's time for the... Battle we've been waiting for. Orochimaru. And apparently Orochimaru just ripped a document that, you know, Naruto and his friends were trying to retrieve for the third Hokage, and and so Naruto is, and Team 7, Sasuke, and Sakura are going to beat the shit out of Orochimaru. Because, let's face it, everyone hates Orochimaru. Well, I mean the fact that Orochimaru is creepy. Now, creepy characters are awesome, but... Orochimaru, yeah, he's cool at some times, but Jesus, he's just, I bet he would scare Itachi. Oh, oh wait, Itachi would scare Orochimaru because Itachi's a freaking sociopath. And the fact that Itachi put him in the Tsukiyomi. But anyway, I'm almost done with this battle. Oh, and this, I forgot to mention, in this battle, Orochimaru now uses that long snake sword and tries to kill you with it. Of course, it's floating in the air and it's 
And yes, the sword actually moves by its own in the actual anime. Then again, I never actually see it. I'm not sure if I ever saw Orochimaru actually use the sword with his bare hands. Maybe in like the games or oh yeah he used it in the ultimate ninja series I'll give Orochimaru this he does have a pretty cool sword but no matter for this part you're pretty much just going to have to run away as fast as you can because let's face it Orochimaru rigged the place in case if he was being defeated or got defeated so yeah pretty much he just wants to do like, I'm taking you down with me, even if I don't get, even I've, if I've been defeated, I will, you are going down with me, as well as every leaf ninja here, and my employees, yeah Rochimaru, let your own men die in, die in an exploding base or crumbling base, yeah that is so cruel man, so cruel. And sorry if I keep pausing on certain sentences or sometimes, but yeah. I usually like to use Sakura for this part because Sakura can use an ability that makes her not only her attack stronger, but she can actually run way, way fast. So yeah. What, you thought Lee was the fastest character in Naruto? Yeah, I don't think so. But anyway. I use this jutsu and it here's what the jutsu is. You pretty much just press up, up, and B on the controller and Yeah, and look holy sh Sakura runs pretty fast. Then I mean, Sakura is like broken in this game if you think about it. You know, why did I use her for like the Kabuto battle? Oh yeah, because I don't know. I just wanted it to feel like the anime because you know Kabuto, fought Naruto, and Kabuto never fought Sa Sakura or Sasuke. And no, fillers don't count. Thank God I hate fillers. I mean, fillers can be good sometimes, but good God. What's the point of them anyway if they're just going to slow down the story? But no matter. And it's... But still, I'm almost like done with this level. And damn. Wait, is the video slowing down or... Oh, never mind, I thought there was something slowing down the thing. But anyway, look. I'm almost done... Done playing as Sakura. And holy... holy. Yeah. And I kind of like how in this snart in this game, like... If anything crushes you, you don't get killed. I mean, like in most games or platformers, you usually get killed by crushing objects. So, but luckily with this game being lenient, they gave you mercy. And anyway, I'm about done pretty soon. Just got like a few more, and here I go. Anyway, let's see my grade on. All right, and my grade is a B. Anyway, so yeah, pretty much they retreat. Team Seven retrieved the information, and the Furukagi knows what to do. So anyway, this is SS Sasuke, and I'm, and I'll see you all later. Bye.